Hello. Well, it sounds like we have a quorum. You're, you're uh, sharing your screen, Dan. Beg your pardon? You were sharing your screen. <laughs> what does that mean? We could see what you're looking at. I just wanted you to make sure you didn't have anything for Her Majesty's eyes only. <laughs> I see you got a quorum with you tonight. Yeah, always. It's always got a quorum in this house. <laughs> that was a politically correct <laughs> definition. <laughs> My rabble. How's things? Good. How are you? Good. I think you should go out and redo all the all the parking study because I'm sure it's changed in the last year since we took it. Um, if you want, we could hoof it one day. No, it's okay. No, I think between you and me, I think Williamsville's in trouble for parkers, visitors, tourists, etc. Well, I don't think there's going to be anything on the calendar for probably the next year. Yeah, right. So, so I don't think it's, it's not an emergency. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of, one of the really, one of the things that, that I don't like, but it's a fact of life, is, do you ever go to Canal Side? Yeah, all the time. Okay, do you ever go to a concert? Uh, yeah, we went uh, two summers ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, did you have your kids? No, no, just my oh, okay. wife and I. Okay. Well, what, you know, I don't like to go to Canal Side and hang out for 12 hours before the concert starts. So I get there, you know, like an hour before it starts. And I end up parking a half a mile away and spending $20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, in Williamsville, the, the board is all, you know, the village board is, oh, you know, people have to walk more than 50 feet or something like that. They need a parking ramp and this, that, and the other thing. And, and uh, we couldn't even think about charging them. <laughs> and I said, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. I, I, I seem to have lost something between here and Canal Side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. If uh, you know where the spots are, it, it's parking's not bad. Even on heavy days. In Winsville. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I ride my bike, so I don't I can find plenty of places to park at. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh the whole issue of parking is probably on the back burner, I would think. Yeah. Have you have you ex ever experienced a problem at the traffic signal? The hawk, the hawk pedestrian signal on Main Street? Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about exactly. Uh, is this where the darn thing, well, let me tell you what I saw the other day. I'm sitting, uh, the hawk was on and I made it through the light at Cayuga. So I was between Cayuga, I was headed up east, okay? Right. And I, I, I made it through the light at Cayuga and I'm sitting there between there and the hawk signal and, and all of a sudden, this, this young woman comes walking across the street, and the hawk signal started flashing at that time. Mm -hmm. So it, it's probably related to what you said, that the darn uh, signal for the pedestrian changed. You know, I, I mean, I couldn't see that. I didn't, know what, I didn't know what was happening, okay? Yeah. All I could see was this late, late walker crosser and it may have been exactly what you're talking about yeah we were heading so our our backsides were to the library and we're heading towards 
uh, we were heading towards the waterfall, and we hit the button, and you know the little figure on the opposite end of of Main Street, it was still red, and all the cars are sitting there. I saw the lights out of the corner of my eye blinking, and they're all sitting there waiting to cross. And we had the kids, and I'm I'm like I'm not gonna cross until I get the white. And then the guy goes, go ahead and walk across Main Street. Uh, I'm not going to do that. And then this guy just stuck his head out the window, and he's like, you're making me late. I'm like, sorry, dude. I'm, you know, I'm not going to go across. So it cycled down. It actually, the, the red light stopped flashing, and then cars started going again. So we had to wait for another cycle. Did it work that time? It did work the second time, yes. Hmm. And I actually, so then I was talking to Brian Culpa. He's my neighbor. And it was on that really, really hot weekend, like at the end of July. And he says if the relays get hot enough, it could be there could be a, a snafu with the lights. So I was like, maybe, but I've spoken to a few people who've who've found that system a little quirky. Yeah. Well, that's not a place where you want to have things out of sync, you know. Right. <laughs> My yeah. God, that's uh that's a device that's supposed to uh, it's a safety device, right? To protect people, and you don't want it malfunctioning. Yeah. Off having it not, not working. Yeah. So I just wanted to know if anyone had experienced issues with it, because, like I said, I spoke to a few people at work, and they said, you know, I, that's something similar happened to me, but I don't know if it's a regular thing or if it was a one-off. Well. I, I was surprised to see this pedestrian crossing because the darn flasher started. You know, I, don't, I just said to myself, why the hell is she so late? You know, but maybe yeah, yeah, she yeah. wasn't. Maybe she was waiting for me, like the same thing, waiting for that, the, the white figure on the, on the other end of the crosswalk. I don't know. Maybe it turned red while she was walking. I don't know. Yeah. I, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't looking at that. I couldn't see where I was. I couldn't see it anyway. Who have Crazy. we got, gentlemen? Uh, good evening, by the way. Hey, Wally. Hi. Hello, uh, Wally. I see, yeah, Dan, Matt, John. I thought I heard Nick's voice. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, how are you gentlemen doing? Good. What about you? Good. No complaints. Yeah. Uh... Knock on wood. <laughs> it's, it's still early, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> so it's getting near to my bedtime. What do you <laughs> uh, What the heck? I I know Dan said he he was a uh, yeah hit or miss thing. I never heard from Bill Time, um, or I think Joe Freeze. John, yeah, it dawns on me. Uh, yeah, I did not uh, see see the Amherst Police Department. Uh, who's our liaison uh, there? Do you know? Um, it used to be Kevin Brown. Yeah, I think Captain McKenna, Lieutenant Captain McKenna. Oh, Captain who? McKenna, good Irish name. Oh. Why would I know that being Polish? <laughs> to study up on it. <clears throat> Captain McKenna. Yeah, because I, I don't think I have him in my uh, email list. I've got two or three lieutenants who over over the years have been, uh, yeah, liaisons. I guess I'll confirm that with, um, you know, try and get McKenna so he can be a... Uh, party to this uh, when need be. So what, when did Captain Brown stop being the uh, liaison for the traffic? When he That's retired. Safety. He retired. Kevin, Kevin he did. retired a year ago. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, I, Wally, he was, uh, uh, McKenna was on our, uh, our uh, Amherst traffic safety meeting last night. He was on his patrol car. <laughs> And I believe I have his email address. I'll send it to you if I do. Yeah, please do, Dan. Uh, yeah, because uh, I have two or three different lieutenants in my favorite. Yeah, but yeah, none of whom I believe are involved anymore. And I could have sworn I, 
uh, the last time I sat in court that Kevin Brown was there, but uh, it may have been a different Kevin now. <laughs> um, yeah, in village court. But, uh, okay. We can take care of that, I think. Yeah. No, I can contact them. Uh, they're good people up there. So, um, yeah, because I think uh, a couple of things need to be done. Perhaps we need some kind of traffic study um, of what yeah, uh, Mill Street is like um, or just yeah, uh, the accident report, if any. Um, yeah, right now we don't have a quorum to even do a thing, but yeah, uh, we'll wait for a bit. I, how many are, by the how way, many are needed for a quorum? What'd you say, John? How many are a quorum? Six? Um, I think we have five or, yeah, we have at least six members. Um, there's and, been five here yeah, now. Majority, um, yeah. I don't even think we can act with only three members. I, I think well, we, 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 we're showing Joe's on and Matt's yeah. on, right? Yeah, I think there's five. Oh, Joe. Yep, I'm here. Yeah. Joe's here. Okay. Oh, Joe and Matt. Okay. Let's see. That leaves. Yeah. Um, well, it looks like the, all the regular members. Uh, the, we got five. Oh, yeah, there's five here. Five yeah. form, six including me. What? We're just missing Dan and uh, Bill Tyne. Is Bill Tyne a member or is he at large? Or He's at large along with, I think, Joe Freeze. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think we have a quorum uh, with the five of us, but then you have, a, have to have a super majority on anything we ask, uh, vote on. Um, I don't think that's a problem on this committee. Usually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I don't think committee. be voting on anything short <laughs> of uh, the the minutes most immediately. Well, I'll call it to order. Uh, given <clears throat> five of us at least. So, um, and yeah, uh, the first thing, yeah. Uh, Gentlemen, have you all reviewed uh, the uh, minutes that were sent out? Uh, yeah, I think Deb did them after uh, Nick uh, did them, sent them out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and and uh, Wally, as author of the uh, minutes, I have one correction, and I already apologize to uh, Trustee Murphy. I forgot to identify that he was present at uh, last month's meeting. It was not noted that his presence was not noted in the minutes. Okay. Well, with that correction, uh, uh, yeah. Do I have a motion to uh, accept the minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, and, and I know you, yeah, Nick, you'll take care of that correction for us. And I, I shall, Wally. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, getting on to uh, the, that first and foremost item uh, right now from uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ganji. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mill Street at Garrison. First off, is Mill Street, uh, and I can't recall, uh, a, a town versus village road? Or uh, Wally, it was a in town. The, it's town where you're. It's village where you're talking about. Yeah, you're talking about up near Main Street, the first right. block. Essentially, yeah, but it's yeah, that's, that's. But the, the intersection's controlled also by the state for fifty or a hundred feet uh, in any direction since uh, yeah. the Main streets. Yeah. Well, the, to answer your question further, the county ownership of Mill Street starts north of the S-curve. Right. That's somewhere. Right. Okay. So yeah. we're not we're not anywhere near the, the county ownership. Right. Uh, thanks, Dan. Um, still, and 
I went by that today and I remember, uh, and I think it was Joe Breeze that brought up the markings, the pavement markings. Uh, and I was surprised to see stop here on red uh, sign, which was where the old uh, line used to be. They moved the line south for the stop on red closer to Main Street. And they should just simply take the damn sign down to, in my mind, but I don't know if anybody else has <laughs> any, uh, any thoughts. Because moving it closer to where that new stop line is for uh, traffic proceeding either straight ahead or making a right hand turn on the Main Street. Um, yeah, it almost puts it right <clears throat> behind another tree or whatever else, uh, you know. So uh, I don't know in the first instance if anyone has any thoughts on the signage there. Well, I, I, I think, well, Wally, we need to return to the, you know, to the underlying premise of why it was there originally to back that track it up, traffic up to allow eastbound, well, any large uh, truck or specifically school buses turning onto Mill from uh, Main Street to have enough room to get into that single lane. But I thought that was more, Nick, having to do with the left turn lane uh, on Mill going, you know, keep that further back, but keep the right uh, turn lane, uh, say, closer to Main Street. Oh, yeah, I, I see your point. Okay, that's a valid argument, Tony. I, uh, I, sorry, Wally. Yeah, and I think they did maintain that one line for the left turn lane for just the reason you said, but I didn't look at that now. <laughs> well, uh, uh, there well, this afternoon, late this the, afternoon. You're, you're trying to get too much out of one sign. You're trying to control a couple of things here, and I... I would not be mad if the sign disappeared, okay? <laughs> but no, I, I agree. The sign, well, the sign really is irrelevant now if you look at the striping uh, for the right lane. The, uh, yeah, though the car in front of me stopped at the uh, stop here on red, yeah. Uh, sign as opposed to the line which was a little further south south yeah well if if you went in there and you trimmed the trees up near the intersection so that somebody pulling up in the in the uh, right hand lane has clear visibility of people on the sidewalk I think the sign could probably then disappear there's the trees are growing a little bit they need to be trimmed Right. Or cut down. You know, yeah. and I'm not in favor of cutting trees down. But, but. Well, I, I tend to think, well, I'm not in favor of it either, but I tend to think the one closest to Main Street probably should be cut down. Right. Yeah. I, um, I, I agree with that one. But, yeah, uh, that most immediately, I guess you have to, uh, you know, have to appeal to the state to do something with the signage, I would think, since they control, I forget what, whether it's a 50 or 100 feet uh, around any intersection uh, having to do with the state, uh, uh, intersecting a state highway. Well, well, somebody eradicated the stop bar in the right hand, right turning. Okay. I don't know who did that. <laughs> But I think it was done at our uh, request, or uh, well, yeah. I, I know it's been talked about a lot, but I don't know who did it. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I don't either, Dan. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, I I think we need to look into that a little bit more uh, and see. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I can do there. Any thoughts? And I think I, uh, I think uh, the committee has spoken to this kind of an issue uh, at 
length previously on how to reduce the speed, short of a speed bump at Swan and Mill, which I think, eh, first of all, you know, yeah, I I know the response to speed bumps. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, yeah, I have I have an idea. Uh, we've talked uh, about traffic calming and so on and so forth. Suppose at the intersection of Glen and Mill, we did some kind of traffic calming to slow the traffic down. Okay, and I'm talking primarily the southbound traffic. Now. When the southbound driver comes out of the traffic calming zone, is he going to put the accelerator down and race up the main street? If he does, then that's not so good. Okay, we haven't accomplished anything as far as speed goes. So, and I wanted to ride over there today, and I didn't get a chance. I was running late. I don't know if that's far enough to speed up significantly in a regular car. Any other thoughts? I think the traffic, this is Joe, I think the traffic calming at, at Glen is, a, I mean, I'm just, I, I have the map, my map up and I'm just, and I'm, and I'm looking at it. I mean, something, um, like I understand what we're trying to do, and um, I mean, whether some kind of traffic calming something in the center of the in the, like it almost looks if if you if you take a look at it, it almost looks like a roundabout deserves to be there. Not that we're you know looking to do huge construction, but even a painted something in the middle there. Um, I mean, it's just, it, it 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 it's funny. It, it almost. I mean, I don't know what the point, I don't know that a roundabout would be of any use, but, uh, but looking at that area, it's a, it's a wide open area between Mill and Glen. Um, it's just a big circle, um, except it doesn't have a four sides, only has three. Um, it's it's a, something that would divert uh, cars from going straight, but having to kind of having something in the center. And I know Bill had, had always talked about um, different kinds of painting and uh, of, of, of areas around there, but um, uh, yeah, Joe, you can you can do a you can do traffic calming with paint, right? It's a simple thing like that. You're you're exactly right. You know, but, uh, Joe, do you do you have it on Google? Yeah, uh, I got, I got to look up right I, now. I'd like to know like what, what the distance is from Glen to Main Street. Well, here, let me share my screen first. I'll, uh, and, and, and we can see it. So let me... Um, yeah, I would, I'm just guessing a quarter uh, mile, a little bit more. Yeah, I think I think you're right, Wally. Hmm. Other than paint, while uh, that's being brought up by Joe, uh, what other traffic calming uh, methods are there? And I know Bill uh, had talked about yet yeah, uh, a roundabout at Belmont <laughs> area too. Uh, to, as right. A, yeah. Yeah. But those there's are, there's, there's you know, a walk. dozen things you can do for traffic calming that I know of, and I can't recite them off. But there's sure a bunch of things you can do. But if you're too far, far away, that if it's going to be ineffective down the road, I don't know if it's worth it. Right. And I, uh, I wouldn't see any kind of roundabout coming on any of those streets in the uh, near future. So it's got to be something of uh, less expensive. So, you know, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, um, give me one, one second. My, I don't know if John, John's usually quicker with this. My, my securities aren't, oh, there it is. It's, it wasn't allowing me to share. Um, <laughs> Hmm. Not be able to record a kind of thing. Well, just tell us the now? distance. That's all. We know what the neighborhood looks like. All we want to know is what the distance. Oh, let me. Um... Oh my God! This is. 
<laughs> and no matter what, at a you know, bare minimum, without some kind of other traffic calming you know, uh, ideas or, or something relatively inexpensive, it becomes a, an enforcement issue. And where are we going to get all the police from? Uh, we we had our first uh, Amherst traffic safety board meeting since March last night. We had about 15 items on the agenda. And of course, speed is a reoccurring theme and it, it, it really it appeared about all 15 of them. And the other one was Amazon trucks, and FedEx trucks and deliveries and, you know, because of <laughs> COVID-19 and everybody home and so there were there's there's several new items to be considered besides speed. Ah, there you go Joe. Yep. That's the parking stuff. That's the parking. Yep I know I'm trying to pull up the right one. Give me a second. <laughs> there we go. Joe, um, Joe all we have to know is what the distance is. Oh you got it there now. So let's see, we're gonna, how do I figure that out from the distance on this sort of thing? You right, oh, right click, put it on one yep, of them, put it on Main Street. That's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, All right, now right click. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now right click. Right click it and hit measure. We already did it. Good enough. Okay, now drag your cursor back to Main Street. There you go. Yep. There's Swan. These people live near Swan, right? I uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the one that's like, it's the first house, I think, next to Headings. Okay. A thousand feet. Yeah. All right. So just shy of a quarter mile. Yeah. Um, my gut feeling is if somebody's in a rush to get to the main street that any any thing you put in this any obstruction you put in the intersection down there at Glen to slow them down you know, they're just going to speed up again when they come up to me. Yeah, I know I would if I was <laughs> Yeah, and we're revisiting in, in some fashion uh, an issue we took up last month or a couple of months ago when some uh, resident asked us to put a stop sign, three-way stop sign. At, right. And uh, mill as some kind of traffic uh, speed reducer. When we spoke when we spoke about that, didn't someone suggest putting a shoulder on Mill Street? Because there's no there's no shoulder, there's no white lines. If you if you shrink the racetrack, people will go slower with those with those shoulders there. Right, that was Bill's suggestion. Oh yeah, no, I'm not taking credit. That was Bill's suggestion. <laughs> right. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I think Bill's Bill's suggesting that and di different painting suggestions. I'm not sure if it was uh, the putting the um, uh, the shoulder on or or striping the center. It was one of the two um, that he was suggesting. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah. No. Uh, Joe, can you tell us the width of Mill Street? As long as you got it on the screen. Sure, they do the same thing. If I just do the. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you got to clear the clear, yeah. clear the. Yeah, but see, I'm I'm using a Mac and not my desktop, so I I always had to figure out. <laughs> How to undo what I was doing? Because I my work computer is a uh, so. There you go. <laughs> you got part, get rid of part of it. There. Gotta get rid, get rid of the whole thing. There we go. And I'll start again. It's like it's about twenty nine feet. Twenty-one. 
21. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Narrower than I thought. Yeah, a lot narrower than I uh, I would have thought. I mean, like better, two, I better look at here. Yeah, I better look at it as a actual map, right? Then yeah, yeah, you're a little short. There you go. Twenty-eight. Um, All right. What is it? Twenty-eight. Right? Isn't it twenty-eight or twenty-nine? Now it says thirty. Yep, thirty point two. So thirty feet. All right, you got You could. You could allow parking on one side. Right. Parking is that all no parking? West side. That's all no parking, right? No, there's uh, parking the on the west side. There is. Between Glen and Maine, yes. Okay. What, all right. Just out of curiosity, which side are the fire hydrants on? East. Good. Okay, then it's correct. You put the no parking signs on with the fire items is the correct way to do it. That's okay. how it is. Okay, that's that's great because <laughs> there are some of the fellows <laughs> that aren't like that. <laughs> okay, so you could restrike, get rid of the set double yellow line down the center and stripe a parking lane right on the west side and then put another center line in wherever it falls and then you know end up with a couple of 10-foot lanes that might slow the traffic down a little bit that's just paint right just paint yeah what's like a what's a typical lane width or you know kind of well, interstate highways and state highways, the redeveloped state highways are 12 foot, okay? Oh, okay. And you can take them down as narrow as 10, I think. So yep. if, you allowed, if you allowed eight for parking, you'd have, uh, what, 22 left, you have two 11 footers. That, that, that's all right. Yeah, you, it would be striped just like it is here, only this Right, right turn lane would be the parking lane. Yeah, and there's the rest of Mill Street there. You'd have to you'd have to do something a little different at the intersection here, but but it, that's what it's going to be. Two travel lanes and a parking lane. That would seem to be most immediately, if not, yeah, in my mind, the you know cheapest and best way to at least. Yeah, this must be a fairly recent photo because I see the offset uh, stop bars here. Yeah, August of 2019. Okay, yeah, it's very current. Where is the park uh, stop here on, right, on Red right, Set? Right, right, right there. <laughs> Hide by the tree. <laughs> All right, either take the sign down or fertilize the tree. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you can no, I, it's probably the next black side post. No, I don't. I I tried looking like it, like it's. I can sort of see, you can see the little arrow right there. Yeah. The, yeah. Arrow the there. next one is no parking. I think no parking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're right. Oh yeah. There's the, the, the old stop bar. Yep. I see yep. the old stop right. bar. Old stop bar right here. Yeah. Just, you can see why it's confusing, but why that car, yeah. Uh, Stop there with the sign. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember Joe Freeze, I think probably a year ago, was complaining about the uh, stop here on red sign um, right here because um, he's like, stop here on red doesn't mean you can't turn right on red. Yes. <laughs> right. Correct. Yeah. I remember that as well now. Right. And I, I remember because Captain Brown was at that meeting and he said, remember the law says you may, it does not say you have to turn right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, gentlemen, your, uh, your memories are a lot better than uh, mine by a long shot. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I I think getting rid of that sign might lessen a bit of confusion. Uh, but I also like the idea of a parking lane 
uh, on the west side there. Um, Can we double check the fire hydrants? I haven't seen a fire hydrant yet. No, they're on the west side. There's one right here. Oh. That's That's east. 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 That's the east side. Yeah, we're east well, side. I That's think right. I see one. There, yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay. That's good. No park. Uh, remember this no parking signs go with fire engines. Right. It's a marriage. It's the only way I can remember it. We have a few divorced uh, streets in. <laughs> um, well, what do we want to do, um, if anything, at this meeting, gentlemen, uh, yet uh, with respect to uh, Mill Street, seeing as how now we have at least two uh, uh, different uh, residents making comments uh, about traffic and speed on it over the course of the last two or three months, if anything, yeah, if we can do anything. Um, yeah, uh, with respect to traffic calming. Does everything have to be, I mean, would this have to be a public hearing anyways? Um, I mean, it would to to to, to do traffic calling measures, or would the village board have to do a? Would they do a public hearing on this? Well, the, the village board has to make a, a, a take a vote on it. I don't know whether they do a public hearing or not because you, you already have parking allowed on the west side, correct? Yeah, it's just it's right. So you're not. You're not changing the parking. All you do is moving the, the center line of the road. Yeah, right. yeah. It, it, parking is definitely allowed on the west side. Um, There's nothing saying it's not. Yeah. Right. <laughs> One would have thought that, you know, in deference to the uh, allowing parking, they might have had that uh, the center stripe over a little bit as it yeah it looks like it yeah uh yeah a little bit more even than they do uh, yeah it looks off center yeah it appears to be off center but yeah um yeah how much and what it uh, allows for at present uh, i i wonder if joe could yeah how much off center if joe could wow. tell us let's do this again right uh now that you're really getting good at i this. know i know <laughs> the pro i was practice uh okay you're gonna all right let's see you go let us uh, So, no, of course. I see, see, I said I get better and I didn't really get better. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great, Joe. So, it's 14.73 feet from, and then on, on, on the west, the west side. Yeah. So, pretty, pretty close. Yeah, it's doggone close. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much close to the center of the road. So yeah. doesn't look it even in that view. <laughs> Who doesn't lie, right? But you don't have curbs, so it's hard to. Yeah, I know. It's on... I guess you do have curb on one side. Yeah. I, I thought I noticed that, and probably on both, actually. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you have curb on both, I think. So, it's, yeah, it's 30 feet across, and you're, get, and you're pretty much so the, yeah, the 14 and a half feet. So it's actually, it, it may even be an extra foot-ish on the east side where the... Um, no parking is. Yeah. So it's actually the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. At least that seems to indicate it. Right. Uh, yeah, foot and a half more, almost uh, 
on the east side lane. Well, when I try to do survey work with Google, I get in trouble. Okay, so yeah, well, <laughs> we should probably have our. You're, actual... dealing, you're dealing with cartoons here, right? I mean, I can go like this, and you never know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, how yeah, straight's yeah. your line? <laughs> right. So, I mean, is it, anyway, it's, it's pretty close to center, as opposed to being off centered. Well. Uh, I like the thinking in terms of uh, parking you know, and striping it for parking. Uh, I don't know what other traffic calming devices there might be. Um, hey, hey, Dan, how wide would the parking stripe be? Is that an eight foot spot, eight foot, eight foot width? Uh, we have to look it up in the book. Uh, uh, it, it may not have to be eight. Uh, there's a there's like a minimum parking width that might be actually be six. I don't know the answer to that. That would be tight. Six is the usual testifiable width of a car. Yeah, it's so but I, yeah, yeah. I, there is there's a there's a number for that, uh, Nick, and I don't know what it is. But we would, you know, probably stick with that whatever that number is, and then split the difference and give the rest of it to the drivers. Okay. Well, a couple of things I think we should check out on that number. And I should also ask Captain McKenna just uh, for any um, accident uh, records. Yeah. Uh, uh, does the village then do the striping, say, south of uh, uh, going north? from Main Street, say beyond that 50 foot or 100 foot uh, that the, or uh, yeah, uh, number that the state has control of. I mean, beyond Swan Street, once you hit beyond Swan, there's not, I mean, there's, you're not gonna park anyways, right? I mean, it's I'm not yes. really sure where the. Yes. you. Um, that have to be a no parking zone. Yeah. So I would think that we, the village, would could take over at at Swan and move, you know, as opposed to and then leave everything, you know, from Swan to Maine, leave it at leave it be, which is probably still a little beyond the fifty foot, whatever mm -hmm. the. Yeah, that's that's a convenient a convenient break point. Right. So I just think maybe yeah, Swan be your. I, I, I have a, a proposition on the you... side there at Swan Street, too. I think there's right, no which there. it should. Right. No, we're talking it, about parking on the west side. So maybe we have to end the parking there. Okay. Yeah. I, oh, definitely then, for sure. I, it may end not. It may not be there now. I don't know. So I think maybe yeah we uh, asked the village to as as what from from our perspective is ask the village to consider asking the village board to re, you know to consider restriping Mill Street from Swan to Glen um, to accommodate a parking area a, a parking lane a parking whatever you call it a, a, a it's a designated parking. Designated par yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's one other thing I think I'd like the committee to look at, and I'm going to give you an all expense paid trip to Snyder, where they just uh, put in some bump outs on Main Street and so forth. And there was a lot of traffic when I drove through there both ways. And I didn't get a chance to, to make a scientific analysis of it, but there's areas with bump outs like Williamsville, and then there's areas without. And they did some kind of sweep uh, striping where you see all of a sudden the, uh, the fog line on the right-hand side starts coming out into the pavement. That's the beginning of a parking zone, okay? And it's it's pretty nice, I thought. 
and you know, it's really well defined where you can park and where you can't park. You don't need a whole bunch of signs. And that may be something we want to uh, use here where parking begins and ends. Right. Just just drive from Main Street from from uh, the from the 290 to to Amherst High School and turn around and come back. You'll see it. Okay. Maybe a little further, uh, a little further to the west. All right, 290 to Amherst High School. 290 up to Eggert Road and then turn around and come back. Okay. It's on both sides, Dan. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been down there. Uh, is the construction complete? Uh, pretty much. They, the reason uh, I, I noticed that because I've been through there, you know, I go there once every two weeks or something. And this was the first time I went through it last week when they had the striping done. And I said, oh, look at this. And I saw these sweeps and everything. And it's pretty nice, I think. Hey, Dan. Yes. Is Brunner's Tavern open yet? <laughs> well, I think I think you should invite us. We'll find out. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, Dan. You said it's an all-expense-paid trip. That's I, right. I didn't say there was any alcohol. You, too late, man. You're I'm, just paying the 50, I'm just paying the 57 cents a mile or whatever it is. <laughs> you didn't qualify it, buddy. Uh, good, good question, Nick. Yeah. I assume that one won't go in the minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, just because I didn't exclude it, that means I included it, right? Uh, <laughs> you got Hustler? it. Yeah. And Nick okay. was the first to take you up on it, so you're stuck. Yeah. So, Wally, for the purpose of the minutes, then, um, is the recommendation going to be the village of uh, uh, consider restriping uh, Mill Street between Swan and Glen, adding a parking lane with the width to be determined to be in accordance to, I guess, uh, NYS dot traffic laws, um, and then redoing the center line um, based on the width of the parking lane. Is that, in a nutshell, what we're going to make is the recommendation? And also to remove the stop here on red sign. Yeah, throw that in there. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, that sounds like exactly what we're talking about, uh, gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen, uh, Nick, yes. would you like to add the word dedicated parking uh, lane? Sure. Oh, yeah, that, that works. To, to end at or about Swan, I think. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's got to end before Swan going uh, uh, southbound. Yeah. Okay. As much because of the uh, the turning situation is but uh, that hydrant on the west side too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and if if somebody would. Uh, you know, I'll even take Ben, the public works guy, down to Snyder and show him these uh, sweeps or whatever you want to call these fog lines. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see them. You've piqued my curiosity as well as uh, made my uh, pocketbook still, uh, you yeah, know, the same. So uh, it's just paint, and it's it really. I never saw anything like it before. You know, I said, "Holy cow, that's pretty creative." Well, no, I'm talking about Nick and the uh, <laughs> yeah. question. Come on. Uh, as long as I don't have to dig deep in my pocket, fine. You can dry. I'll, yeah, I'll buy it as long as I don't have to dry. <laughs> Remember, you got to buy dinner, too. Oh. Yeah, because that yeah, we can't just have beers. Uh, That's right. I'll buy a French fry. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Uh, are we all uh, in favor of that? Uh, I don't know if it requires a motion, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, as opposed to a, you know, just the simple recommendation. Um, but I think I'd like the idea of a motion. Uh, yeah. So moved. Second. 
Who seconded? All right, we're, Joe. I'm sorry, we're, Dan, did you did you move? And Joe, you seconded? Yep. Thank yep. you. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye, 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 aye. Okay. I didn't hear any opposed. Any opposed? Okay. I think this is a good piece of work because this, this has been an ongoing theme, this uh, section of Mill Street. Right. It, it is interesting because Wally said the past two out of three meetings we've, we've sat down and talked about Mill Street. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, hopefully that uh, this will do something. So, And all we're really doing is moving the center line because you already can park a car there. And, and we're going to then encourage people to park there. No? Yeah. No, uh, I'm kind of surprised that center line wasn't moved given the parking. Uh, that it wasn't over a little bit further east. So apparently it looks like it in this this view. You know, I mean I oh definitely I, yeah definitely in this view. So uh, well well somehow the, the the state got three lanes out of it at the intersection. Maybe the state nudged it over a little or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's ten. Can you measure the the width of the road there, uh, Joe? Sure. Right, right on the, the view we're at now. By I don't, so that's the thing. I don't know that I can do it in this view. Oh. That's um. It, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to let me do it in this view. It just keeps moving. It just keeps moving me. <laughs> <laughs> So let me get out and just see if I can get a good look of it from above. Oh, well, look, look at that. It's now it's, it's, that's the old view. That's the old picture. <laughs> oh yeah. Where it moved it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's not even gonna, so it's no. Well, oh, no, no, just measure the total, the total oh, width on your main street. Yeah. I, I don't think they changed the width there at all, but. It certainly looks like they did. Yes, yeah, thirty about thirty four feet. Yeah, yeah. They, see, they gained a little bit there. Four yeah. feet. There's four foot somewhere is what's found. Oh, oh, go to the back of Sorrentino. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. See that black car there? Yeah. Now look at the road. Is it is it a little so, taper right, right there? Yeah, like the, right, right here. To there. the left of the black car. Like right here. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a taper. Hmm. Well, it's thirty four feet. Okay, so. Yeah, it just seems like it slowly gets wider. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Slow. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it just keeps getting narrower. Yeah, so it, it, there's a taper. Well, that's all right. We're not we're not messing with anything right. from uh, no. uh, south of Swan anyway. So let's put that. Well, yeah, we got one thing done. Only forty five minutes. <laughs> this, is a, this is a big item because listen i work for the state this would have taken months <laughs> i think i've been on this committee for for about four years and this has been a reoccurring theme in different different complaints for four years yeah so, it happens. yeah and that's kind of a theme, though, with a lot of the bigger streets. All uh, Cayuga is the same thing, though the police presence uh, on Cayuga is more significant. Uh, and with that, yeah, uh, in deference to Dan and Matt, just 
uh, have them give us a little bit about their uh, portion of the traffic study. Yeah, um, I did look at all the photos and whatever. That, yeah, as I see it, if you're talking South Cayuga, uh, um, right now, isn't it no parking everywhere on South Cayuga? Yes. And it makes no sense. And is South Cayuga, uh, yeah, a village, county, what road? Village. Village. Yeah, it, it changes up near where the railroad tracks crossed. Exactly where, I don't know. It was around the railroad tracks. Where they were? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, that would be uh, where the village park is, I would think. Now. Right. Um, yeah, because it becomes Amherst just south of that. Yeah. Uh, and then Somewhere. Waga. Yeah. Say. Um, yeah. I guess, yeah, that's interesting to try and, you know, uh, do we know the width on that uh, street? Yes, I measured that and I have it somewhere. I believe it's 31 feet. I'm going by memory. It's plenty. That sounds, that sounds about right when we did it a few years, well, last summer. Yeah. yeah. It's well, plenty wide enough. It's plenty wide enough to do the same thing on Cuga that we that we want to do on Mill. And there have been complaints about speed on uh, on Cuga. Yeah, but I, I can uh, I can testify uh, that the police presence is more prominent there just from handling uh, village court enough to. Uh, to, to know that a lot of tickets are issued on that street. My wife just got right. one. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? My wife just got one. Shh. Uh oh. She's putting the kids to bed. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, and uh, and apparently it still doesn't slow uh, people down. Um. Yeah. Well, Bill, Bill has got the right idea. You got to narrow these streets up and you're not going to reconstruct them. So you just park cars on them. Yeah, that slows people down. Well, I like the idea of the parking and I think, uh, yeah, it would add obviously parking. Uh, yeah. And as we all know in the studies say, it, it should slow traffic. Um, yeah. Um, and you also noted some other areas. Yeah, and I was surprised at one. Uh, you want me to share the screen? I could try sharing my screen if you want. Yeah, again, uh, I was surprised there's in, uh, there isn't parking on one of the streets. Um, is it working? I don't know if it's working. Yeah, I got it. It's working. Yeah. Uh, let me go to the next page. So that was, um, let me go to the next page here. There's that's South Cayuga we just talked about, right? Right. Uh, the big one, a big one was Glen. Yeah. So behind yeah. Main Street, uh, heading north. It, it's kind of quiet too, because obviously you're at the back end of some of those businesses on Main Street. So you wouldn't anger any any neighbors or anything, and uh, you know if people are you know that's a straight shot to whatever's going on on Main Street, uh, right. walking wise if you park. Yeah, Not, it's presently no parking or. Oh, that I can't remember. I I, I think yeah. it is Bali. Yeah, I, I I noted that too when I was walking around. Um, yeah. Uh, that specific area of Maine, it's designated no parking. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, but you're not going to get a lot of parking spots there because there's too many driveways. But, but right. it is it is no no parking. Like 
again, the same thing. You put a put a put a uh, parking lane in. <laughs> that may be the answer to a lot of villages, probably. And uh, as somebody said, it's only a block off Maine. If uh, so, it uh, certainly would be, um, yeah, a good place to park. So. Um, all that, but that does. Do, you know, do you have any just general idea, either Matt or Dan, as to how many spots might be on one? Oh, that I can't remember. I should walk it with the. I could walk it with the kids over the weekend and get a better idea. Yeah, I I, I thought I had an approximate number, um, uh, Wally, and I I uh, was making notes on my phone when I was walking uh, that area last year. Um, but it's happened to me more times than I care to admit today. I can't find my damn phone because I'm looking at my desk right here. So um, <laughs> if I find the number, I'll be happy to share it with everybody. Uh, you left your phone at Runners. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. There's definitely some spots that you, from Reese up to Grove. There's there's like three or four. And then there's that no right. parking sign. Yeah, that's right. There's there yeah. that always parks in the street. And would Verizon care if there are people are parking right? I don't know. There's enough space to park like right in front of the Verizon there. Well, Verizon shouldn't care because they've got their own parking lot yeah. and they do not have a lot of employees in that building at any given time. Right. They also have a monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. As I understand it from you know, the planning board, when they put uh, asked for approval of some of the improvements. They didn't uh, expect to have more than two employees at that building at any uh, uh, given time. Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly. Uh, hmm. so. And I have a very good friend who was uh, recently retired from Verizon and had worked at that facility for uh, uh, decades, and he will attest to that fact as well, Wally. Mm -hmm. I was kind of surprised at that, to say the least, but, you know, um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't get upset at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that's an interesting. I uh, uh, yeah, addition. But uh, Nick, were you the one that uh, has some thought on how many spots there might be there? Yeah, I I think I when I um when I walked it uh. Wally, I, I kind of eyeballed and put down the number of potential spots. And again, it's it's on my phone. Um, oh, no. When I find it, I'll share the number with everybody. Okay. No, we've obviously this has been hanging for a while, and it doesn't look like traffic problems are really going to be imminent for some time. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Can I, as long as we have Glen Abbott on here, right below it, I'm, I'm looking at Main Street, west of North Lawn. Every place you see Lawn, it should be Lawn, <laughs> okay, L-O-N-G. But anyway, in front of the, uh, or close to Spot Coffee, oh, yeah. the area that is indicated in orange, that has been corrected. The signs have been fixed up, so that, that is not any potential parking spots, no. Are there? That was incorrect. So that one could be scrubbed. That's already parking. Okay. Well, unless, it went, unless it reverted back to its old ways. Okay. <laughs> well, I will add, gentlemen, that I uh, I did quite a lot, say from. Um, Oh, where where are my notes? Nick, I, I yeah. Uh, basically, from uh, Oak Grove going east, and I don't see much uh, on the street, uh, addition wise. That yeah, uh, for parking, um, yeah, on any of those streets going east. Uh, yeah, really, they're pretty well signed and right. Yeah, uh, and there, there's more density. 
they're more housing density there, I think. Isn't right. It? Yes. Right. And, and a lot of narrow streets as well, Dan. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah we're talking a different animal over here on the, on the, uh, yes. on the West right. Village. Yeah. Oh, on the west end too. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't think you were doing it. I'm talking uh, the east side. Of, yeah, a garrison. Uh, yeah, but are you, Nick, did you say you pretty much found that to be the case on uh, south of Maine on the west? Right. No, I, I going uh, east like you did, Wally. That um, very limited opportunities, other than those that we just discussed. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, with that, it's pretty much what Matt and Dan, uh, yeah, have brought up uh, as best I can tell. But what we do with that remains to be seen, I guess, at this time. Um, was a was a parking garage study really, really signed off on, or was they just was that idea just kicked around? It's sitting by the village board, Matt. Yeah, we had talked about it um, in like January and. February and then um, it was just some. Uh, I know uh, Matt, you two hit <clears throat> knew a couple of people, a couple of engineers who did um, parking studies, um, but it, it is not necessarily something that's going to be put through any. Oh, I was soon. just curious because yeah, those yeah, things yeah. are those things are usually time sensitive, time consuming, right. and, and fun, financial consuming. So I was just curious. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think that. The, the parking garage would just be on the list of, of possibilities of more parking. Yeah, okay, just but, curious. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Mule Skinner Antiques, who's in the refurbished uh, big brick building uh, next to the former Marine uh, HSBC Bank, he's giving up the retail uh, storefront business and moving over to prior aviation, and he's going to operate there as an internet business and if you want to come in his store or his display room it'll be by appointment only so you're losing another main street business it's been there quite a while oh, that sucks i know ronnie and he's pretty pretty astute guy and he said you know he's lived with covid uh, you know since march and I, I don't know whether his lease expires or what but he's making that jump and do you know who owns that property yeah, the Marty guy uh, that... Okay, uh, the tuxedo guy owns that property? Yes, yes. Okay. As far as I know, yeah. He's the guy that renovated the building. Right. The yeah. Concerned that uh, we're going to see more of that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I am, too. You know. Yeah. And it, it doesn't take a genius to figure it out, either, you know. Oh. Oh, it's scary, though. It truly is. Uh, um, well, you're taking quite a few steps backwards, and you're going to have to build up the retail again to get the the foot traffic in the village. And yeah. uh, who knows how long that's going to take. So the foot traffic, uh, yeah, has been there uh, of late. I've been walking Main Street, almost got nicked by a couple of young kids on bicycles again, and then I saw. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, I I was going south on North Cayuga to make a left turn on the main, uh, and I'm at the you know, light there, and there's a car in front of me, and this car must have seen this young bicyclist, and she raced to uh, beat the light. She didn't beat it, uh, and the guy sat there, thank God, because he would have killed her. Uh, she ran, yeah. she ran <sighs> light right in front of them, and yeah, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I, it, yeah, going back to what I said last month, yeah, if if this is going to be a pedestrian, a, a walkable village, something's got to be done with respect to bicyclists because they're increasing significantly. Uh, yeah. Um, I saw something uh, uh, on a new special about uh, another biking concern like Go Bike uh, that's renting bikes all across the city. And you know, uh, they were talking about the quantum leap in bike users now. Right. 
And there was something I think this morning the Buffalo News, uh, Wally, um, uh, talking about pedestrian and bicycle uh, safety on Bailey Avenue. And uh, a gentleman was, was uh, quoted, uh, you may have seen him, he's president of the East Side uh, Bike Riders. He's in all the slow rolls. And um, they're campaigning for bike lanes on the um, on Bailey Avenue as well. And as we know, Bailey Avenue abuts uh, the town of Amherst on that end. But when I was reading the article, uh, it might be something for Keaton to chase as well to possibly dovetail as we were talking at last month's meeting about getting uh, Go Bike involved in the bicycle safety. Um, it, it, it's a huge, huge movement now and at the top of everybody's list. Um, it, 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 we've got to start taking this a lot more seriously and paying much better attention to it than we have in the past. Uh, uh, Wally, Wally, could I uh, uh, back you up a minute here on this, uh, this near miss accident at Cuga and Maine? Uh, the driver ahead of you was was he in the left-hand turning lane or right yeah. lane or yes left either he was saw this young girl okay. speeding she was going west on the sidewalk on the north side okay i don't care about her but was he at the stop bar yes you see and that's a problem in the village it's just what we had up there at sorrentino's is in my mind a misplaced stop bar when you go to an intersection like you if you stop at the stop bar you don't have any visibility of the darn sidewalk only you know 10 feet each side of the street you know instead of 20 or whatever so uh, that that occurs it, it was like that at sorrentino's it's tira Cayuga. it's over at, at uh, los robos uh, and i don't know where else but there's three or four of them that, that, and the state was adamant where they placed those, and it's a, there's a visibility problem. Yeah, well, yeah, be that as it may, and I, uh, I, the guy did not proceed when he had the green light, and he had it for a full second or two or more, and then this young girl zipped across the street yeah, and I'm saying to myself, if he had just pulled two or three feet, yeah, she'd either hit him, he'd have hit her, or she'd have done something to avoid it. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what prompted him uh, to stay where he was, but thank God. Right. Yeah. I, has I anyone? I what you're talking about. Has anyone been um, down Casey Road? They've done a lot of awesome uh, paint jobs with in regards to bike lanes. Right, right. They put oh, yeah. lanes nice. in, and as you approach an intersection, there's a, a it's green. green. Yeah, yeah, it's a box to indicate that you're approaching an intersection. It's, it's really well done. I, I take that road every now and then um, for something, and then I, it's it's recent. It's very new within the past very few months. Recent. Yes. The, but that, uh, that'd be kind of interesting because it's really well – it's well laid out. There's signage. There's stuff on the ground, uh, the green markings by the intersections. It's, it's very well done for bicycles. The, uh, the county repaved the road, and the town put in the sidewalk, which is on the north side, I think. And – Part of that sidewalk contract was to put those crosswalks in and all the green paint, okay? And I'm not sure if that was part of the sidewalk grant or another grant that they got, but uh, yeah, it was it was a town uh, a town pedestrian thing and sidewalk, which is pedestrian, I guess. Well, John is I don't know. If yeah, has uh, the uh, village board taken this up at all in any fashion? I know we made a recommendation. Is it just about the bikes? <laughs> yeah. I, I Our last meeting, I brought it up, um, and both Chip and Matt were saying that the bike lanes on Main Street were not possible because 
um, of the traffic flow and just the, num the number of cars that are, uh, are there all the time. So the lanes had to be the certain width. Um, so they're saying that the bike lanes were not possible on main. Um, so I know we, we talked about that last time. Um, hmm. And, you know, I know you're talking about just paying, you know, the striping could be different, but it was, it was just because of the amount of cars that travel uh, on main through the village all the time. So we're, we're saying, talk about, the, you know, the tolls or the, yeah, the, 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 the no more toll, or the number of toll booths, but all the, the open road toll, open road, um, uh, uh, open road tolls. And, you know, if, if they do ever put the, um, a, an exit on the, on the, uh, Young's, it could decrease the amount of traffic on main street that, uh, putting a bike lane would be possible because people just, you know, take main to avoid the 25 cent, uh, toll between transit and the 290. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure John, I remember that we acknowledged that too, is that like we, we would love to see bike lanes, but we were pretty right. sure that was never going to happen until right. we saw some reduction in traffic on main street. But then the also was our discussion. I remember from last month was the, uh, um, sidewalk usage. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I did bring up that as well. Thanks, Joe. Um, just that the 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 code about the twelve year olds and, and you know it, it, the code actually read something about you, know, you have to be under twelve to operate like a motorcycle or any electric <laughs> scooters. So it was you know it was like how many twelve year olds riding on motorcycles on this on the sidewalk? Um, so we we're going to clean up that code basically to take out the age restrictions. Because I know <laughs> I, I mean after we had talked about that, now I, when I was walking around the other day, I saw. You know, a lot of people are riding bikes who are definitely older than 12. And I was like, oh, should we cite them for a code violation? Even though they're not even sure it's in the code. So get them in the system. <laughs> all right, exactly. <Yeah. laughs> get them early. Take it all just out on a nice, you know, yeah, nice bike ride. Yeah. Uh, Chad, I think the Thruway Authority puts out hints. You have to figure out what the hints mean, okay? Yeah. But if you drive over the Young's road bridge the, the bridge needs resurfacing okay it needs a new right. deck okay you know and it, the bridge i'm sure is safe it's suspected every couple of years but it makes right. a, the ride a little rough but i but i think what the throughway authority has been doing for the last uh five years or so is they say we're not putting a penny in that thing right <laughs> that's going <Okay>. right <laughs> that happened i see with cleveland drive Okay, that was neglected for years. Okay, yeah. and eventually the big, big, real wide bridge, real long bridge. Hey, you say hi. She get a vote. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So I, I did. I did bring up um, about the biking, and um, you know, I think that's going to be one of the big pushes next year is to be more bike friendly. So. As I'd much like, as we can. I'd, I'd just like to see more education. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you start making big, big stretches of these village roads uh, uh, with big marked uh, designated parking uh, lanes. They won't be used all the time. That's a great place to ride your bike. Yeah, but the problem with biking lanes is you've got to make sure you're not going to get doored by somebody using the parking lane. Right. Yeah. A very common and dangerous uh, occurrence uh, and a big fear amongst urban cyclists. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not I, you have to be careful, but if there's big stretches of village streets oh, that I, aren't occupied by parked yeah. cars, it's a great place to ride a bike. Yeah, I, I hear you, Dan. I've been cycling all my life, and I've been maintaining for decades. Urban cycling is a competitive blood sport. You really have to be defensive if you're going to ride on any uh, city streets because you just can't trust anybody to do the right thing. Right. Yeah, well said. Um, anything else, gentlemen? You know, Wally, at some point, not tonight, and I know this is a pet peeve of Dan Delano's, and real quick, the traffic light at um, uh, Worley and Garrison, and as traffic heading west on Worley, they get that leading uh, left turn arrow. 
that yeah. stays green, I think, for 90 seconds, 24-7. Certainly, I think the intent was to facilitate the uh, rush hour traffic of the uh, office park there. Um, but there's no reason whatsoever that that stays 90 seconds at 11 o'clock at night. It's just not needed. I recall conversations in the past, supervisor, well, ex-supervisor Weinstein used to say, we can't fix it, we can't get the parts for that, which is nonsense because it's a software adjustment. Um, at any point, would it be worthwhile for us to suggest to the board to talk to Supervisor Culpa that they adjust the timing on their traffic signal? I have no problem uh, uh, just the traffic signal and yeah right. yeah we don't we don't have to discuss that at length but it's just um, you know if, if I ever win the lottery big time I'm gonna donate the money to the city of Buffalo to coordinate the traffic signals uh, because I'm tired of going from block to block red light to red light and the smart technology is there that they can sense the vehicle uh, uh, movement and patterns and, you know, trigger um, a light to accommodate what's happening. But, you know, the, the amount of time people spend their idling when there's absolutely no need because there's no traffic, it, 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 it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I could agree. Actually, I'd like it almost cut down a bit from 90 to 60 seconds so that uh, at, uh, in the early evening hours, uh, yeah, uh, when uh, the what do you call it, Ingram Micro is uh, know that uh, it, it the doesn't the, pick up on Whirly. Right, the town is. Yeah, uh, but that that's a whole nother thing. Uh, okay, well, like I said, possibly if we think it's worthwhile pursuing, we can pick that up at a later day. Yeah. Uh, I'll note it down. Yeah. Um, anything else, gentlemen? Real quick, only because we're pushing way past an hour. Has anyone ever had, we were talking about it before we kicked off at the Hawk signal. Has anyone ever had weird, just, you know, lights going, not going versus, um, you know, then the guy comes on, walk across Main Street. Has anyone ever had any weird issues with that? Matt. I, I, I haven't experienced any, Matt. I read your comments, but personally, um, I, I've not experienced it. All right, I'll give it another go next time I go to more Pat or something. It, it just, it happened, it happened like late July. It was hot. Maybe something with the relays someone told me. I don't know. I've spoken to a few people at work, and they've said it every now and then they've had some weird issues with it. But um, I'll try it again. Maybe it was a one-off. Yeah. I did want to mention, Matt, I didn't get anything uh, with respect to that that you sent. I couldn't open it, whatever it was. Um, I, you know, I think what's, the deal on, what's the deal on these uh, village intersections? Does the village own them and the town takes care of them? Is that the deal? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm not right. either. The, the town is doing a smart. What was that? All right, I will, uh, I'll follow up with an email on that to the town, okay? Because there's a, presently there's a smart signal project on Whirly Drive. Oh, okay. okay. And I, I know it goes as far as Arrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I thought you uh, got muted somehow for a second there. Um, well, uh, yeah, if you can resend whatever map, but I haven't seen any problems. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. It was just. It was an email. It wasn't anything to. Uh, it wasn't anything. Uh, it was just an experience a few weeks ago. Well, I thought there was an attachment. To, to I can uh, here. I can give you a quick one over. So I'm, I'm here with, with the wife and kids, right, and push the button, and we're just waiting, 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 and I'm waiting for this to turn white, this, right here, and cars are stopping, and the lights are flashing above us, 
and this never said white or never went white. And then, you know, they usually say cross time to cross Main Street. That never went. So I'm just standing there and there was a guy right here and he just stuck his head out and said, you're making me late. So I went, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cross buddy because, because this is, was still a red hand. So I go, I'm not, I'm not going to cross, but they did. They all stopped. The car stopped and this was um, doing its blinking. So we waited and it cycled down. Uh, the lights went off and cars started going. So we just waited a few minutes uh, at which point, you know, hit the button again. And then this did turn white. The voice came on across main street and car stopped again. But the first time, the first time we did it, it didn't, it just, the, these lights were going, but this stayed solid red. Wow. So maybe it was a one-off. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, I'll I play agree. with it again next time I try to cross. I won't <laughs> play with it, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try it out again. More importantly, it's just the people that still will go 10 feet down and it will cross anyways without it. Like, they'll just cross the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not crossing away. until, feet yeah. Away. It's like, it's like we, we put a hawk signal in. It's only 40 feet away from you, 30 feet away from you. Why don't you use it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that too. Oh, yeah. I but that's a... Well, if that's it, uh, do I have a motion uh, to adjourn? Wally, do you want to set the next meeting date before we adjourn? Mm -hmm. First Thursday is September 3rd. I... My thinking, gentlemen, since who knows what's going to happen with schools and whatever else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather see it say, yeah, the following Thursday or no meeting in uh, October, September. in September, period. Okay. So we'll push into October, Wally? If that's okay with everybody. October 8th is the first Thursday. I'll put that in the minutes. Sounds good. And hopefully uh, by then uh, it'll be in person as opposed to virtual. So, hmm. well, I guess in theory, since there's only six of us, we probably could. Yeah, you can space out somewhere. We probably can be having meetings in person. <laughs> yeah, at Brunner's Tavern. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta order food, though. Yeah, and, it's all, right. yeah. and it's all on Dan still. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. All right. I'll make the motion to adjourn. Thank you guys in order of French fries. <laughs> Okay. All right. We stand adjourned and take care. One order. Enjoy for the end of the summer, guys. Take care. Right. Yes. Okay. Keep Thank you, you gentlemen. Fun. Thanks. Good night, everybody. I figured out how to shut this thing off.